<laughs> now, before we go, good news. The Adelaide Reds have won. They've beaten the part-time builders and teachers from Waitakere 2-1. So but that's a great means... result. They're into the next round of the Club World Cup Challenge, I think. <laughs> Which is pretty big news. Club World Cup. Mm. Which you don't want to rush saying. No. <laughs> It's nearly the weekend. <laughs> Sorry, Brett. It's okay. All right, thanks for the update. Appreciate it. Yeah, my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> it's the end of the year and you're so over each other. <laughs> Moving right along. <laughs> okay, the news on the national weather. Widespread cloud is generating heavy rain and storms over the central interior. Low cloud over the east with the trough is causing heavy thundery showers. Cloud over the south of WA in an upper trough is causing a few showers and storms. From the synoptic chart, a trough will draw tropical moisture south and it'll cause widespread rain and thunder across the interior and the southeast. Some heavy falls are likely in New South Wales. A deep low will generate strong winds in the southeast and frequent showers in South Australia as a high clears WA. There'll be hot northerlies in Queensland. So tomorrow there'll be increasing cloud in Cairns. Showers are forecast in Brisbane. Wind and rain will increase in Sydney. Rain will develop in Canberra. Rain is forecast in Melbourne and Adelaide. Mostly cloudy conditions in Hobart, a mostly sunny day in Perth. Thunderstorms are tipped in Darwin. Late thunder in the Ellis. That's the latest from the 10 News Centre for this Thursday, December 11. The early news tomorrow starts at 6am. I'm Zandra Sully from the team. Still friendly, sort of, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Good night.